Namaste guys, Ashish here. And in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, three modes in Samsung Galaxy On 7, which has been there on the other devices as well, including the J series. So if you are buying an On 7, this is something you should know because it allows you to save data and also save battery life on your On 7, which is not really good to know. It only has like three hours or two and a half hours of screen on time. So let's take a look at it. Now, though these are available under setting, the best way is to go to the notification center because they're easily accessible there. So scroll to open up the settings here. And you can see you have like uh, five quick settings available right there. Now, if you edit it here, you get some more settings. Now these settings are the usual setting which people will use. But you have a few more settings here, which are the most important one, which Samsung is actually betting on to save your data and improve your battery life. So these are the three settings here, the U power saving, that is the ultra power saving mode. And then you have power saving mode, that's normal. There are a few differences, I'm going to tell you that. And then you have ultra data saving mode. Now there's no data saving mode. There's only ultra data saving mode. So let's talk about it one by one. So if I tap on this U power saving mode, that's the ultra power saving mode, which has to do with the battery. So it tells your battery percentage and estimate usage time remaining. And by using this ultra power saving mode, this is how long you can go. So what it does is basically is restrict application usage only to essential applications, which have been predefined. For example, Gmail isn't restricted, but WhatsApp is restricted. It also turns off mobile data when the screen is off. So when your screen is off, you don't get any email. So remember when to use it. Then you have connectivity feature like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth also gets turned off. Now there's one small warning here, which says if your location is turned off during ultra power saving mode, it will remain off and it has nothing to do. So let's turn it on. And you can see all, you know, the display has gone bazook and everything is actually gone so now this is what essentially you get so you have a couple of applications like phone messages internet that is only available that you can you know go and uh, dial and use other than that everything else is turned off that's how it goes like so now to disable it will go to more and turn off uh, ultra saving power saving mode and then it exits bring back all the settings to place and gets you onto the home screen all right now let's talk about power saving mode now i've got it from here to here for some reason because it wasn't opening on the settings so you will have to do it at the end i will show you that now if i tap on this the power saving mode is turned on but what exactly it is so if i go here and do a long press this is what you get to see now it clearly says that save battery power by limiting the maximum cpu performance reducing the screen brightness and frame rate and also the reducing the time before screen is turned off when notifications are received so this is how basically it conserves battery and in a very basic mode so that works if you have enough battery but you want to save it for a bit longer period so let's turn this off and let's go to the edit mode and we'll talk about now ultra data saving mode now this is something which is related to your data now we all know data is pretty costly these days and you definitely like to save data so this is the mode so i'm going to double tap this and it opens up the details about it so let me just read it for you so it, what it does is background data is automatically blocked for all the apps by default but you can configure it it also compresses data using opera max and a few warnings that you should uh, take a look because it will actually deteriorate your overall internet experience from browsing perspective for sure. And there's one important thing here which says uh, always turn on mobile data while ultra data saving mode is on. So if you want your mobile data to be used in this mode, you can do that. So we'll turn it on and this is turned on and it started saving everything or whatever you wanted to save. And now let's take a look at the ultra data saving mode data, which I have used for a while. 
not much i'm still analyzing it but this is uh, what the detail you get so when it was off i have consumed 468 mb while it was on i have only consumed 59.49 mb now for using data compression especially you need to turn it on and when you turn it on it uses the opera max data compression uh, to get your result again it will deteriorate all your internet experience because images will be of low quality for example a few things will be restricted but from a mobile perspective more or less things should work now one more thing that you can add exception here now there are few apps which you want them to be there and not to be restricted by the ultra data saving mode you can do that for example whatsapp is already there for me i'm going to show you what all you can actually add so for example you have got twitter facebook chrome feedly and uh, some default apps are there but if you notice none of the apps like the gmail and other apps which are very important for you probably from email perspective these are not there you can of course sort by name and uh, you can see what are all apps are there so you have internet memo photos studio app and asphaltate all those will be restricted for the data consumption now i'm going to tell you how to configure all this because uh, when you actually start using it they are not really available in the quick settings is something of this sort uh, when you actually get your phone so what you need to do is go here in the edit mode and then you will see all your settings are available right at the bottom so you need to drag this and put it where you want do it for all of them and then for ultra data saving mode as well so it gets on all the positions there there you can see it all those ultra power data saving mode and power mode everything is available now once done that hit done and you will see now you have all those settings available right there so this is basically uh, for those who want to have this handy especially when you're traveling and you really don't want a lot of battery to be consumed because you need it to be there you don't have access to the charger or probably you need your data is much more valuable and you want to save it for later work so that's how you do it so guys thanks for watching the video and if you did like the video do share it with your friends do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to our channel do subscribe and keep commenting thanks so much